Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the second, oh no, sorry, i just done the second episode, for the third episode in the series, Photoshop for the Complete Beginners, and we're going to continue with the tools, because I can only make 10 minute videos so far, so i got to be pretty fast and rush to go through all the tools for you today, um, but yeah, we're just going to continue with the tools from episode 2, so nothing, well, I'm not going to say nothing new, because it is something new, but... We're just going to continue talking about the tools. So we left off at the magnetic lasso tool. So next is the magic wand tool. All right, it's a pretty useful tool. You can make pretty good selections with it as long as things are the same color and it's not not too pixelated. Let's just say. So let's say I wanna I wanna select this red um, square here. All right, it should be pretty easy. I can just grab my magic wand tool, left click and it will select it all the way around to the corners of the same colour. Alright? So pretty straightforward, pretty easy if you don't have complicated shapes. Let's say I wanna select um, this blue bit. See it doesn't select it because this blue is a different shade from this blue. But if I shift click if you hold down shift and then click again it will add to the same selection alright so there are still little bits in here I can just try to shift click and then it got everything now so if I wanted to get rid of this blue bit I can just click delete now and it's all done and I can delete this middle bit as well pretty straightforward easy alright the next is the quick selection tool is basically um, I'm not going to go too much in detail about it really because um, there's no no point, I don't really ever use it to be honest to so, say yeah then we got the crop tool, I never ever use it because <coughs> sorry I never use it really because basically what it does it resizes your image so if you create a let's say we got our A4 document here that we created at the beginning Let's say um, I make something. Uh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, I think I just had an error. Right, sorry guys, but my Photoshop just crashed, so we lost our amazing image that I've been creating. Anyway, um, where I where was I? I was somewhere. Oh yeah, here we are. I was at the um, crop tool. So if I create a new document for you, international paper, A4, blah blah blah, don't matter. Um, what it does, if I make something beautiful here, all right? There we go. I made something beautiful. Um, so the crop tool, what it basically does, it resizes your image, all right? So let's say I don't want this bottom bit. I only want this bit of my amazing art. I can just select it, alright, click and drag, and then I can still modify this to be more precise, like so, like this. And if you click enter, it resizes your whole image. So if you have a look, if you go to image, image size your size is going to be different than what you made at the beginning so if you have a look this is 2160 pixels by 2700 what we created was 2400 by 3500 alright so what it does it actually resizes your image so if I just show you if I make another four A4 document here and then if I paste this, the whole thing, select right. This is this can be an exercise for you. Uh, rectangular marquee tool. Select the whole thing. Control C, A for document. Control V or left click. I don't even know if you can do it um, with right click. So just go into your new document. Control V and it will paste it in. And as you can tell, this is what we created it's actually only this big so if you're working for something specific in size you do not want to use 
the crop tool after you made your document because it will resize the whole thing all right the next tool is the I dropper tool very useful tool this little bit here is your color palette all right so that's your foreground color and that's your background color what this does is if let's say I wanted this gray color because I wanna let's say I wanna put a box in here um, I just unlocked my layer so I can edit it let's say I wanna put a box in here I just make select my selection tool make my little rectangular and let's say I wanna make this box that blue so I can instead of coming here and trying to find that blue color I can just use my eyedrop tool select this blue and as you can see if I click and drag it changes my foreground color to that color alright so next I selected this color you can just pick up my paintbrush and uh, paint it in that color alright my little box that I created so pretty straightforward it basically picks up the color from the page next bit is the clone stamp tool right um, you can have fun with this it's it's a bit complicated but not really let's say if I got a photo of um, let's say I wanted to duplicate this bit this is like the brush tool so what you gotta do is hold down alt click where you wanna copy something from alright let's say I wanna copy this so I click here and I'll pull my mouse all the way down here and as you can see it will start painting from my previous selection as you can tell there's a little cross up there see the Twitter logo bird see that little cross that's where my brush is basically copying from okay so it's pretty straightforward if I start coming into here and it will start copying my little rectangular alright so you can you can do some really fun things with this in other images let's say you got an animal and you can make it have four eyes and all that fun stuff so you can I'll let you experiment with this in your own time the pattern stamp tool I don't ever use it um, history brush tool it's basically a tool to, to um, repair your mistakes but I don't ever use it so I'm not going to go into it the eraser tool it's pretty straightforward it just erases everything from your um, image or from your selection what you can do you can, oh yeah by the way I get this up by right click and then you can change the size and the hardness of it the hardness is how hard the rubber is basically if you take it all the way down then you see you got a soft edge if I take it all the way up, you got a hard edge. Another thing you can change is the flow up here. If I turn the flow down, you see it doesn't erase 100% off what's under the rubber. You see, I got to pull it through quite a few times until it um, until it deletes the whole thing. Another thing is the opacity. It's basically the same thing as the flow, well, sort of similar. If you turn it down, then you got to go through the same selection more times to delete it. So let's say I only want to only want to uh, delete, erase this a tiny bit. I turn my opacity down, turn my flow down, and you see it only erases it to a certain level. See how far I'm in? Nine minutes. Right, so this is it for the second episode guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you taught you something new next episode I'll go through um, the gradient tool and the rest of the tools hopefully I'll be able to squeeze it all in into the next episode and then later on we'll go through the layers and then we'll start probably creating things and then well while we're creating things I'll teach you more in-depth stuff um, so that's the plan I think that's about it that I can squeeze into this so stay tuned for episode 3 actually I'll upload episode 3 now as well and then 
I'm not gonna upload another app. Well, if I able to finish the whole thing, um, if I able to finish all the two episodes today, then I'm not gonna upload another episode till next week. So I'll try to upload once a week. All right, guys. So make sure you subscribe, like, and favorite if you like the video. So I know that I'm doing something good, and that I taught you something new, and it makes me keep going. All right, guys. See you later. Peace out.